Hello, everybody. Uh, Joe Lucy here with uh, this week's Market Huddle. Um, I actually am going to get a chance to try my intro twice. I thought I was live here a second ago and uh, uh, started going through, and, and then I got a text message from uh, one of our team members saying that I wasn't. So anyways, I apologize for the late start here. Um, we'll blame it on a little bit too much turkey here over the weekend. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, whether you were able to spend some time with family members or maybe you had to do it a little bit more remotely. Uh, personally, we uh, had the first Thanksgiving in uh, as many years. I'm sure that before my son was even born that we had, uh, uh, that it was a smaller group. It was just my son and my wife, Patty. And, uh, and then we did a Zoom meeting with my folks. So that was nice to do. But uh, uh, boy, I can't wait to get past uh, all this uh, COVID stuff. So what this week's market huddle, um, Social Security and Medicare changes for 2021. Uh, Social Security, the cost of living adjustments always come out here in October of every year. They let us know what the pay raise is going to be for the next year and get ready for this 1.3% increase. That's a cost of living adjustment based on the CPI and what have you. Um, then what happens is in October, they give us the Social Security number. And then in November every year, we get to find out how much of that cost of living adjustment actually gets to go into our pocket, how much is going to be used towards uh, towards uh, our next year's Medicare premium. And true to form, 2.7% increase in uh, Medicare. So what does that mean for many families? Um, we are getting a cost of living adjustment, but uh, we may not be able to see all of that in our pocket. Keep in mind, Social Security, in my opinion, should be the foundation for everybody's retirement planning. It's uh, what we call mailbox income, money that hits the checkbook each and every month, regardless of what's going on in Wall Street. So families that have a higher source of income coming in, their expenses are here. When the markets start acting a little goofy, uh, the roller coaster gets a little rocky. Um, as long as we have more money coming in from mailbox income and, and less reliant on taking out money from our Social Security, we tend to sleep a little bit better, a lot of less worry. Nobody likes to lose money in the stock market when the markets act silly. Nobody likes to move, lose money fast. We found that out here last spring as we rolled into, uh, you know, the first lockdowns and what have you with COVID. Um but if I have more mailbox income coming in, um, I can let my stock market investments recover. Um, and that's really kind of the trick to what I consider to be a secure retirement. So um, Social Security, it's mailbox income. Let's talk a little bit about these pay raises. What's it going to look like for us? Uh, then we're going to talk about Medicare. And then at the end of the presentation, if you have questions about your own retirement, um, let's address them. Keep in mind that... Um, here uh, is our disclaimer. This is the same disclaimer we've been showing here since the market bottomed out on March 18th. Um, each and every one of these market huddles we've been doing, it basically says, I'm not a tax, um, I don't interpret tax code and I don't write legal documents. I'm not an attorney. I also don't work for the Social Security Administration. Sometimes that gets confusing to people too. It's a good thing because we can do planning around Social Security and the folks, the good folks that work for the Social Security Administration are not allowed to do that by law. They are not allowed to share with us anything other than what's the best way to take Social Security today. They can't necessarily tell us if we were to wait or how to coordinate that, how we could get more from it. That is a, a good thing that I'm not part of the Social Security Administration because we do that. We do that on a regular basis. We think it's important. Also, keep in mind that, you know, while I'm not going to get too deep into taxes today, Social Security, worst case scenario is tax. Uh, only 85 cents of every dollar you receive will be taxed. In fact, Social Security by itself, by itself, um, is 100% tax free. There's not a, any, anybody on this uh, call here today that would ever pay another tax return or have to file another tax return if the only source of income you need in retirement was Social Security or Social Security and maybe Roth uh, distributions, Roth IRA distributions, tax-free distributions. It's only when things like uh, maybe rent or pensions or required minimum distributions start coming out that we start ending up to pay tax on our Social Security. But even with that said, those of you with higher incomes 
still 15% of our Social Security benefits are tax-free. That's why it's so important to optimize. And at the end of today's uh, presentation, if you'd like to, if you're not on Social Security or maybe your spouse, uh, maybe, you know, you're married and, and, and both one or both of you are not on Social Security, let's uh, spend some time on how to show you how to optimize that. If you have already collected Social Security, if you're already taking that, that doesn't mean there isn't anything for you here. Let's start to look at how we might be able to reposition things into a more tax advantageous manner or just show you how Social Security can be combined with other sources of income, a diversified income plan to make sure that you have enough income so you can spend in confidence. So with that said, let's get into some numbers here. Oh boy, this is not the number um, I was hoping to see. I thought we've changed this slide. Um, anyways, here we go. The retired workers, um, It we are going up by $20. Again, it's a 1.3% increase for our Social Security. So uh, retired workers, it's going to 1543. Uh, retired couple, the average increase is going to be $33 going to $25.96. Many of you that are clients of ours are seeing far more than that in your Social Security benefits. That only comes out to about $30,000 a year. Um, again, for a retired couple, if that's all you needed, it'd be 100% tax-free. If we can increase that for you, a lot of families we work with are in the you know $5,000, even six dollars or $7,000 a month. So let's show you how you can optimize your Social Security benefits and get the most out of it. Um, there's widow numbers, widower numbers, uh, Social Security, uh, SSI is when you have insurance, if you end up having to retire early for medical reasons and such, the average is uh, just under $800. That's going up by $11. It's uh, basically 1.3% increase across the board here. Uh, let's look at some other numbers. Here is Medicare. Medicare premiums, again, going up 2.7. By law, passed here a few years ago, they can only increase our Medicare premiums by up to 25%. If there is no cost of living adjustment, they can't legally change them at all. Um, by them raising this faster than Social Security, it tells us that Social Security or Medicare is a situation that they are keeping a close eye on. They're concerned about the increasing costs of Medicare. And keep in mind, as the uh, uh, baby boomers get a little older, more and more families are going to be moving on to Medicare. And uh, I expect to see more changes around Medicare. But um, the regular... Uh, payment, this lowest bracket here, if you're single and make less than 88000 of what's called an adjusted gross income, the income before uh, uh, deductions and what have you, or $176,000 um, uh, uh, you are going to see um, Medicare premiums going up to about one forty eight fifty. That's up from one forty four sixty. So it's up about four dollars. Guess what? That pay raise we were going to get, it just got sucked up by our Medicare premiums. It is what it is. So um, also keep in mind, a lot of families. This is a good way to illustrate uh, what many families aren't aware of. There is something called IRMA, income related to Medicare adjustment amounts. As your income gets higher, if you're making, uh, let's look at this middle one here, or the next second row down, 88,000 to 111, or married couples making between 176 and 222, uh, they get to pay higher Medicare premiums than their neighbors. It's a good reason to make sure that you're doing some good, smart tax planning. If you find yourself in a situation where you are retiring from an income that might have been higher than this 176 number for a married couple, Make sure you visit with an advisor that can share with you how you can file what's called an SSA 44. It's a special form that once you retire, uh, there's actually eight different reasons. It could be the sale of some rental property. It can be uh, um, actually reducing the amount of work. There's a lot of different, there's eight reasons why we can get your Medicare premiums reduced. All too often we see families that are coming into our office. I just had one last week, it's November, and they came into our office and they were paying because of some sale of a farm they inherited. They were in this range here, 276 to 333. They were paying four times more. That's a rough number, right? 1782 a year versus 4633 a year. And that was times two, right? So they were paying an extra almost $3,000 each, $3,600 all because of the sale of the farm. And had they filed the SSA 44, which they did after they met with us, 
Um, I believe they're going to get a refund back from the Medicare um, at, when that goes through. So anyways, uh, Social Security, it should be the foundation of your income. Um, going up by 1.3% here for 2021. Medicare increase 2.7%. Um, you actually look at the real calculations that it is actually going up uh, almost the max that they can run it. Um, that's that 25% increase that they're capped out by, by congressional uh, uh, legislation. Anyways, we're going to see more um, of this going forward in the coming years. I actually uh, know that uh, some of the uh, 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 incoming presidents, uh, you know, one of their, some of the things that they've talked about, maybe adding a couple more brackets here. They've talked about making some changes to uh, taxation on Social Security. I think that there's going to be a lot of good reasons that you want to get together and plan. So if you have questions here, this is the slide I wanted to show earlier. It was going to go over here. It's supposed to go in here. Anyways, um, we got it in. Here's the number. I'll leave it up there for you for a little bit. Before the cost living adjustments, the average retired workers getting 1523 after the cost of living adjustment went up by a whopping $20, uh, 1543 again, by doing some smart, savvy planning, many families find themselves in a situation that they're receiving more than the average here when they are working with our advisors here. So if you would like to schedule a review, something that we can do to, to visit with you, I'm going to put the calendars up here right now. Feel free to uh, get on the calendar, whether you're an existing client of ours. Maybe you are a uh, somebody that's been attending our, our market huddles, and the timing is right now. Give us a call. Schedule your appointment. Let's schedule some time that we can uh, address your Medicare planning, addressing your Social Security planning. Keep in mind, uh, Medicare planning, we don't uh, do the uh, Medicare selection. We aren't agents for Medicare. We can refer you to some great folks that do that. Um, but planning around your Medicare, making sure you're not overpaying for your Medicare premiums, also making sure you're getting the most out of Social Security, that's what we do. So schedule a review by clicking that button there, or you can always give us a call, 952-460-3260. That's the number right here, 952-460-3260. Shoot an email to info at Secured Retirements. Uh, and let's schedule some time to visit. I hope that everybody got some great information. And today, a little light on the subject matter, I think, and I guess it's pretty straightforward, right? Medicare going up 2.7, uh, the premiums, Social Security going up by 1.3. Uh, and that's been going on the last few years. Medicare is growing uh, faster rates than Social Security, which means that the cost of living adjustments uh, we were planning on may not uh, necessarily go towards that because of the additional Medicare premiums, but that is what it is. That's why good retirement planning is a good idea. Schedule your 15 to 30 minute review. And I hope uh, everybody else got a good nap in after the Thanksgiving uh, holiday. And, uh, you know, the guys, hopefully you guys uh, helped out with some dishes and what have you. And uh, anyways, have a great rest of your week, everybody. That's all I have for now.